Hey guys, this is part three of my Ableton Live tutorial series, and this week we're going to be covering recording your synth MIDI instruments and audio instruments into your clips into a session mode. So we already have three different drum patterns, so we're going to be recording all the parts that we need to create to make our song. First, we're going to be adding some bass. And I have this synth MIDI track here, and I'm going to duplicate it by hitting Command D, and that'll duplicate it. And I'm going to drag it over next to my drums, rename that by hitting Command R, bass. I'm gonna change the color of this actually to this color so it's different. We have our bass track added. And now I'm going to go up here to categories and sounds on the left. And then you can unfold the bass tab and go through and click on them and you can find the kind of bass that you want. And I picked this good old vintage fat bass. So just double click on that with the track that you want selected. So we can come up with the bass line for the song. I'm just going to play one of the beats. So we want a couple different options for different parts of the song. So to this first part, I'm going to play my first bass line. So when you know what you're going to play for your second bass part, you're going to record it where you want the change. And I want this one with the halftime drum beat. So so for the second drum part, I want the bass to be the first bass. So I'm going to duplicate that there. So to play all of these clips in this first row at the same time you're going to hit this play button over here at one and that will trigger the next scene to play it's called a scene if you can understand how this is starting to come together we have our different parts here we have the drums building up a little and then we have the halftime drums with the bass change and then we're going to add some more sound effects and instruments over here we're going to add real keyboard but actually this bass sounds a little bit too bland for me so I want to make it more interesting um, by adding some side chain so let's go to audio effects go to compressor double click on that hit this arrow key turn the side chain on and from wherever you want the side chain to come from you select I want it to come from my side chain so then as you turn down the threshold you're going to see that the bass has this gated effect where every time the side chain hits 
the audio is going to be cut out from the bass. You control this by, I like to turn the attack all the way down so it hits right away. Turn the release up a little bit to extend how long it cuts out a little. And then you want to turn up the output just a tad. And that gives it a lot more movement. It's much more interesting to listen to. Okay, so let's add some more things. Uh, keyboard. So this is coming from my external Nord. I'm going to select a nice electric piano sound. If you want to practice what you're going to record or figure out your, your loop that you want to add, you could also record a long section and then narrow it into something you played well. So maybe we should do it like that this time. Something in there. So we're going to take the last eight counts, I think it was. And then if you want to make it hit more on the beat, you can double click and snap these transients to where they're supposed to be. Make sure we duplicate our side chain all the way down so the bass keeps that effect. Okay, I think that'll end up being the bridge actually, not the chorus. But, um, I think this would be the chorus. Okay, and then if you want, if you want to add in more um, rows, you can just select, drag, and select all of these, move them down. I want to copy these ones up, and maybe keep the drums without the hi hat in the second scene. effects like this 
um, online the same way you can search for royalty free drums. And then this I'm probably not going to loop. Actually this one I will. <laughs> So I'm duplicating this, renaming it, sidechain, in small letters so I can recognize what it is. I'm going to change the pattern to be where the claps would be, the halftime claps. So let's see how fast this is. We could also just drag this one over, drag that one over, and then delete the kicks and the hi-hats. And copy that all the way down. And then side chain. second keyboard part now. Okay, I'm gonna end that one right there. And then that was, I think, eight. good place for me to stop for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you set up your track to get ready to record and be sure to subscribe so you can catch the next tutorial segment next week and I hope you all have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Okay, bye!